Okay, today we're going to work on finding the percent of change. So to find the percent of change, well what is that? First of all, the percent of change is the percent by which the number increases or decreases. When you have a percent decrease, it's because your numbers are going down. When you have a percent increase, your numbers are going up. The quantity is increasing. So there is a formula to find this. First, you want to find the amount of increase or decrease. You want to find the amount of change. Then, identify which is the original quantity. And then we're going to use our proportion formula. So the percent over 100 is the change over the original. Remember, the change is the amount of change, so you actually have to subtract um, the two numbers, the original and the new. Let's try some. Okay. The temperature increased from 60 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Find the percent increase. So this is a percent increase. It went from 60 to 75. So we are going to find the amount of change by subtracting. You always just subtract the bigger minus the smaller. So we're going to do 75 minus 60, which gives me 15. Now I go into my proportion. So the percent over, over 100. So since I'm trying to find the percent, I put my variable there. It's x over 100 equals the amount of change, which was 15, over the original. So I've got to decide which one's the original, 60 or 75. Well, it went from 60 to 75. So 60 is my original. Now we're going to use the cross products to solve because 60 won't go into 100 evenly, so I can't scale up. So we're just going to do 100 times 15 equals 60 times x. Let's scoot my paper over. Okay, so 15 times 100 is 1,500. And then we're going to divide both sides by 60 to solve for x. And you may use a calculator here. 1,500 divided by 60 gives me 25. So go back to my question, find the percent increase. We got 25, so that's a 25 percent increase. 